Today guys, I'm gonna be changing the oil in my lower unit. Supplies that you need for this is a flathead screwdriver. You need a flathead screwdriver. You need an Allen wrench. You need a pump. Right here, you can get these at West Marine, Amazon. And you need two quarts of gear case lube HD. And the first thing you wanna do is to take your Allen wrench and come over here and take the cover off right here and so there's two um drain plugs and the lower one is behind this cover and you have to come on this side and use the allen wrench to unscrew it and what it's going to do is it's going to expose the screw like this one down here so let's do that real quick and take off the cover so i just took off the cover and you can see the screw here and that one there and also when you're doing this one thing you want to make sure is to have your engine tilted all the way up so all the oil can drain out and drip out right here i am also i'm going to take out this screw first and then i will take this screw out and just crack it by taking this one out first there's a suction on it so when i take it out the oil just won't start pour, pouring all the way down and then i'll crack this one up here and slowly start letting the oil drip out into my container So I've just taken out the screw and you can see no oils coming out yet because I haven't cracked this one. And one thing you'll notice when you take out the screw, you'll see some metal shavings in there. And you'll just want to kind of feel that and just to make sure, make sure there's no big parts that it's like almost like super fine. If you have big chunks of metal that's in there, um, then you probably need to take it to a professional Yamaha dealer ship because uh, you probably have some problems going on but you can see that's really smooth there's really nothing to worry about right there all right i'm going to crack this screw right here sorry about that helicopter is very loud and also you want to replace that gasket here too all right and you'll see this this might get messy because i don't have another hand to move the bottle as needed and so i'm just going to crack this and the oil is going to start dripping out there it goes to do it while trying to film at the same time there it goes yeah I knew it was gonna get kind of messy right there but if you're not filming it you should be able to pretty much align it up pretty easily but it looks pretty clean so that's a good sign it's not too dirty if you buy a boat and the lower unit hasn't been changed in a while this will smell really bad and it'll be a very dark color. I got some spillage there that I'm gonna have to clean up. All right, so I'm gonna let this drain and then we're gonna put some more oil in it. So I got my mess all cleaned up here. It's still dripping a little bit, but I put down my rag so it doesn't mess up our concrete. I'm gonna go ahead and get the gear casing oil and we're going to screw it on. Oh, y'all can't see. Screw this piece on. It's actually easier to do this if you didn't leave the bottle on, but I'm making it work right now. All right, so when you're doing this part, you want to tilt the engine back down. And the reason why you, the reason why you tilt the engine back down is because you want to make sure that this part is pretty much vertical. So you can fill it all the way up. So we're tilting the engine all the way back down. There you go. And we're going to just start pumping. And once it's completely full, 
you'll start to see oil come out up here. All right, we're on our second quart and you can see that now when I pump it just very slowly, the oil starts coming out. So that means that we are completely full. I'm gonna put the top screw in and then once I put the top screw in, I'm gonna unscrew this and none of the oil should leak out because the vacuum is created. Not much oil came out and I got the screw in and I'm gonna tighten it up and we're done. I mean, changing your lower unit oil gear casing oil it's very simple um, if you don't do your own maintenance on your boat I understand that too but man you'll save yourself a lot of money just doing it yourself like this especially in, when it's this simple to do all right guys so we're done we did that in about 15 minutes so if you're doing your 100 hour service like I am the next step you would do to service your lower unit is that you would take off this nut here and you would make sure all this is greased up and also you want to make sure that you change your oil which i'll be doing that in another episode it is probably even easier than changing your lower unit oil changing the the oil in the main engine it's super simple also you're going to change out your sport plugs you're also going to do your small uh, fuel water separator and then your big fuel water separator here too i'll be showing that in a separate video but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're looking at changing your own oil in your lower unit hopefully this helps you out